Hi, I'm Karan Thapar. Over the last few years, I hope you've been watching my program, The Interview on the Wire. During that period, I've interviewed doctors, politicians, businessmen, scientists, authors, and even the occasional Nobel laureate. For me, it's been exciting. I hope it's been enjoyable for you. But these, as you know, are tough times. And if this program is going to remain bold, independent, and sometimes even defiant, then I think we need your support. At the end of the day, it's a truism, but editorial independence is best defended by the viewers. So if you would like this program to remain the way it is, forthright, outspoken, and interesting, then would you consider supporting us? All you have to do is to click on the description at the bottom. But more than anything else, I hope you will continue to watch the interview. Your viewership means an awful lot to me. Hello and welcome to a special interview for The Wire. My guest today is the well-known Israeli film director and the head of the jury at the recently concluded International Film Festival of India at Goa, Nadav Lapid. Mr. Lapid's talking uh, about the Kashmiri film Kashmir Files has created a storm of controversy. Today he joins me to talk about what he said and more importantly, to respond to the furor that's been created. Mr. Lapid, you've called the Kashmir files vulgar and propaganda. You've said you were disturbed and shocked that a film like this was part of the competitive section of the festival. And then separately to the Israeli newspaper Haritz, you said it's a very crude, manipulative and violent propaganda film. Can I begin by asking you what brings you to that conclusion? Yeah. Hi. Uh, good morning. I mean, good morning in Paris. I guess in India it's already already noon. Um, first of all, of course, you know we talk about uh, subjective impression. You know, we don't talk about here about a uh, scientific thing. There's no uh, films don't don't come with labels. They are not labeled. You know, propaganda, non-propaganda, commercial, artistic. It's 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 a kind of feeling that you have. Uh, that's why, you know. Also, it's 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 not it's not easy exactly to to explain to people who haven't watched the movie. Uh, why did I feel? I'll try to do it in a second. I'm not. Um, but but why why did I have this feeling? The only thing that I can tell is that we all jury members shared exactly the same impression about the movie, uh, and that. As far as I read about the movie, also when the movie was released in India, there was um, uh, there was a, it was very controversial, and I'm not the the, the first person, and not the one thousand person who used words like propaganda movie. Afterwards, you know, I mean, I mean, uh, for me, if I can give an example, for instance, you know, the way that the bad guys were playing their role in the movie. I felt that they were playing. I mean, they were playing the bad guys. It's like the, the 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 as we know in life, you know, people might be right or wrong, but they. I haven't met yet the person who thinks who sees himself as the bad one. Everyone feels, you know, that he has his uh, point of view, that the justice on his side. That's exactly what turned conflicts to be so terrible. Because you know, if people would have would, would have would have assumed that they are the the ones who are wrong, okay. But the fact that everyone is convinced that the truth is on his side, that he's the good one, this is exactly what turns conflict and wars to be so bloody and terrible. In the movie, when I watched the the those who played, you know, the the roles of the the, the terrorist, you know, it, it, for me it was ridiculous because they they were they were they were playing like you know the bad ones in a cartoon movie for kids are playing while the good ones played and behaved like the good ones in a cartoon uh, for kids in an animation movie for kids are playing so it's totally flat 
it's totally flat. It's, it's, it's as if people are la totally labeled in the movie. Uh, for me, you know, you know, it's 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 it's. That's why I, I I had the feeling that I see something that is totally. There was no not the truth of real life. I'm not talking about the truth of facts. I'm not I'm not I'm not I'm not my 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 uh, my problems with the movie. They have nothing to do with the the question what exactly factually happened there you know i don't have any i know that there is a big controversy about it about numbers but i of course i'm the last person who can who can who can uh, give his, his opinion but when i watch the movie when i watch the way it's shot the way the, the, the sound the way the way mainly the way it's acted i feel that i see a totally product a, a flat product that is not supposed to 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 deal with life as it is, but is totally in in a service of 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 an agenda, and for me, in a, with, with with a very bad bad taste. Can I put Again, it? Am I right in hearing you and concluding that you have problems with? the aesthetic and the artistic quality of the film, you're not questioning the veracity of the facts or the truth of the events the film portrays. It's the way they are portrayed that you're concerned about, not the facts themselves. You know, the, 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 of course, yeah, the, 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 there has been, and, and, and you know, it's exactly what I said. I mean, I mean, he who will listen, and, you know, all these people who write also of pretty terrible things about me, if they would, only for one second, listen. What I said, I think that they, 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 in, 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 in immediately they would understand that, that, that they themselves, I think, they are the victim of a big manipulation. It's, 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 it's a huge manipulation, you know, uh, uh, trying to, to, to state as if I'm uh, minimizing the tragedy or the suffer or disrespected. Uh, I mean, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's nonsense. Uh, whoever will listen to the, I don't know how much, two-minute statement that I gave on the uh, on this this, this this ceremony would understand in a second that he himself was a victim of a, of a, of a manipulation. I'm the last thing that I would ever imagine is to disrespect, you know, the. This, 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 this tragic event, and you know, people, people, people can 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 have a, a huge problems, harsh problems, harsh critics about the film, about about you know, even about the Holocaust. It doesn't mean that there are that, that there are Holocaust deniers. We should Absolutely. separate. We should can separate these two things. Can I pick up I, on something you said? You said that the bad guys lack credibility i'm using your language you said that the terrorists are portrayed like cartoon creatures that there is no real life value they are completely black there is no human portrayal of them as people who believe they're doing the right thing for lay audiences to understand this can you give me an example of something in the film that you believe was crude and vulgar where Absence of sensitivity, absence of credibility, made it feel like propaganda. You no, know, for me, it's even again. I'm, I'm not talking about. It. It's not again if if this scene or that scene has truly happened. This is not a question. It's it's if you look about. I don't remember the the name of the of the the, the main the main the main terrorist in the movie. I don't remember the the, the name of the character. But if you look about the actor. If you look about the way he's is is playing, if you look about his is 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 he has this strange tick in his eyes. If you look, I mean, I mean, you have the feeling. I had the feeling that I see an extremely bad joke. And 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 frankly, frankly, I mean, an event like this doesn't an event like this, a tragic event like this, deserves a serious movie. I mean, I mean, I mean, wouldn't you, Indians, would like to have a, 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 a piece of art that truly respects what happened with real artistic values instead of this, 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 this vulgar product? 
And again, and again, and, and again, and again, I just cannot accept the idea that criticizing a movie is criticizing India or that criticizing a movie is criticizing uh, what happened in, in Kashmir. This, this similarity that was created between talking even harshly about a movie and talking about India or talking about what happened in Kashmir is madness. It's madness. Absolutely. Can I then clarify something? There is a report put out by the Indian channel CNN News 18, and they say that you have apologized for insulting people. You've apologized for hurting relatives of those who died when the killings happened. Am I right in believing you're apologizing for hurting the sentiments of people who are relatives of those who died, but you are not. And this is the important point. You are not apologizing for criticizing the film. Yeah, yeah, exactly. I mean, what, what, what I was saying is that if people were insulted by what, uh, what, by, by, by what I said, if they, they, as I said, if they manipulated to think that I disrespect the, the memory of their dear ones, of themselves, or the terrible things that they happened, I'm truly sorry. Afterwards, I'm not taking back one word that I said about the, the movie. I, I also, I read somewhere that I claim that the movie is brilliant. I mean, I should be totally crazy and schizophrenic in order to say that no. I mean, I mean, I mean, I, I, I believe completely, and I, I, I stand completely behind my statement. The Afterwards, report, the report that you said the film was brilliant was carried on the website of the Indian paper, the Hindustan Times, and it claimed that you had said this to India Today. Jan, you are now clarifying that you did not say the film is brilliant, you never said that. Of course not, of course not. I, 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 I mean, again, I stand totally behind uh, every word that I said in this, in this, in this, uh, uh, in, on stage, in the ceremony. At the same time, I think that, you know, the fact that someone, myself, gives is frank, as I say, critical, harsh opinion about the, about the movie. And immediately, you know, I started to get thousands, thousands of extremely violent menaces uh, being threatened. Um, I saw the, 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 one of the actors of the movie using words like a uh, traitor. I, I, I mean, have you, I, I, I really want to ask people, have you totally got met? I mean, I mean, is this is, is this is the, the society and the world in which you want to live? A place where people are afraid to open their, their mouth because when they say their opinion, you know, I've, 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 I've been asked to come there as the jury president and to give my opinion over the movies that I saw. So do you want to live in a place where people are afraid to open their, their mouth because the moment that they say truly and frankly what they what they think when it's about a movie, they're going to be threatened. Threatened. I mean, it's it's it's. I don't know. It looks to me totally crazy, like, as if people. I don't know if they live in a in a in a in a western or they live in a in a kind of strange fantasy, or again maybe maybe they are they are they are they are manipul they are totally manipulated. Let me sum up what we've achieved so far. You've made it absolutely clear that at no point did you call the film brilliant. The report that you did is wrong. Secondly, you apologized for hurting the feelings of relatives of those who died in the killings, but you completely stand by your criticism of the film. As you said, you are not taking back even a single word of what you said at the award ceremony. And therefore, you stand by your opinion that this is a very crude, manipulative and violent propaganda film. It's vulgar and you are shocked that a film like this was part of the competitive section of the festival. That yeah, is yeah. Am I right in what I've said? 
Yeah, I, I, don't, I don't know if I'm shocked. I'm, I, 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 I thought, I, I mean, my opinion is the, 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 film, the film didn't have its place in a competitive artistic section of the festival. But moreover, moreover I, I, I cannot accept this uh, similarity that was created between criticizing a movie and criticizing India or criticizing a movie and disrespecting uh, what happened in Kashmir. I think the Kashmir tales is not equal to the Kashmir tragedy. It's a film that was done, that was done about this topic. It's not the same thing. It's just unthinkable that you are not allowed to say anything about a, about a piece of art that was made about something because then you disrespect uh, the event. Absolutely. So you said earlier on, that after your brief comments at the award ceremony, you received hundreds of threatening messages. Did I hear that correctly? Hundreds of threatening messages. Yeah. Yes, of course. And you also separately have told the Israeli newspaper Haaretz that you also received hundreds of emails and messages from Indian film personalities who were happy you spoke out. Can you tell me, what were these supportive messages saying? And do you have any sense who they came from? Yeah, it, uh, first of all, it wasn't, I think it wasn't only uh, filmmakers. At a certain moment, I, I, I also, I, I, I admit that, that, that I, I couldn't read all of them because there were so many, but, uh, and it was, I, I, I mean, some of them, few of them, I know, in, I know in person, few of them are film, makers of film people that I I happen to meet you know around the globe maybe in film festival etc but 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 this is very a very tiny minority the majority were people again some of them identify as the filmmakers but others came from all sort of of, of media and professions and they were supporting what you said they endorsed what you said they they endorsed what I said and in a way they said that uh, uh, finally, someone is saying the truth, or, or, or finally something was saying what we all uh, were thinking, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And, and, and again, I think I think that it's a very. I mean, we all know that in all sorts of places, you know, I come from Israel. Freedom of speech is threatened, but I I I, I think that this is a very very worrying symptoms. Absolutely, very, very worrying symptoms that 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 that, that so many people. Uh, uh, are hang, uh, 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 share this feeling that, that, that they want to tell something, but they're afraid to tell it, and they should wait that a foreign uh, filmmaker will come and 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 uh, and, um, and 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 make this uh, declaration. You made a very similar point, like the one you're making now, in an interview to the Israeli paper Haaretz. You said that Kashmir files, and I'm quoting you was pushed into the official competition due to political pressure by the Indian government. And then speaking separately to the Israeli website, Ynet, you said, and again, I'm quoting you, it basically justifies the Indian policy in Kashmir and it has fascist features. Could you explain what exactly you meant by those two comments? Yeah, I mean, you know, of course, of course, they, they quoted me not, not, not in an accurate way. What I said is that, since all of this happened, I heard from many people that the film was uh, supported by the and backed by the government uh, in order to justify uh, uh, the government uh, uh, politics. Now, I mean, and you know, I'm, I mean, when I was reading about about the film later on on internet, many people were talk, were talking about about. Uh, the fact that the film was 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 supported by the government you know as i insist i was talking about a movie i was talking about a film i was talking a piece of art i wasn't talking about uh, india the indian politics i wasn't talking about the tragedy of kashmir etc 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 whether this movie has a bigger role whether this movie ref reflects something that is bigger than itself, whether this movie is not just a piece of art, but tells something about India, maybe, but this is something that I think that 
if you if you want. I mean, you can totally ignore what I'm saying. But if Indian people want to try to find out, you know, this is a kind of discussion that you should make in with 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 with, with, with yourself. I'm I'm not I'm not I'm not a side. And I'm not a partner in a discussion about Indian politics. Absolutely. Can I quote something else you said to Haritz? Again, I'm quoting you. You said, I feel as a foreigner who arrives there, you have an obligation to say things that people who live there may have a hard time saying. Is this why you chose to speak publicly rather than discreetly keep quiet? You, were, you felt a need to voice these opinions because you believe many who want to in India cannot do so. You know, again, I'm, I come from Israel and, and, and several times I could, I could uh, see how when you're, when you're, when you're, when you're really inside, inside a society, Sometimes it's complicated simply and sincerely to express things as, as you see them. Because of sometimes because there are pressures, sometimes because you are you feel uh, 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 limited by all sorts of, of 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 calculations. It's normal. It's normal. I I found myself exactly in the same situation in Israel when, 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 when something was evident for me and I wanted to express my voice and why shouldn't people express their voice? It's the most normal thing. We were fighting for this freedom for hundreds of years and thousands of years in order that people could, could say, express their opinion without, without, uh, without uh, uh, fearing the consequences. But, but then again, it happens. So, so, so exactly as the same way that I would love, let's say, an Indian filmmaker, that I would love that, that tomorrow an Indian filmmaker will arrive to Israel and under similar consequences, it might happen, wouldn't be afraid to express his, his opinion. And the but people in Israel wouldn't, would, wouldn't see it as an assault to the national, I don't know, to the, to, 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 to the honor, honor of, the, of the state or all sorts of, of things like this. Exactly at the same way, I felt that it, it, it's in a way it's my duty, in a way it's my obligation, and it's even the obligation for the people who invited me. The people who invited me, Ify, they invited me in order that I'll be frank, that I'll say that I express my truth. They didn't invite me in order to say all sorts of vanities with a nice, polite smile. I understand that completely. Let me now put to you some of the responses so that you have a chance to answer them. To begin with, the Indian actor Anupam Kher, who plays the role in that film Kashmir Files, says your criticism of the Kashmir Files is like denying that the Holocaust ever happened. And the director of the film, Vivek Agnihotri, has gone on record to say that every scene in the film is accurate. How do you respond to these two comments by people who are part of the film? Yeah. First of all, I understand totally why people who are part of the film were hurted. You know, if someone would have said about my my movie a similar thing, I would be hurted as well. You know, it's a part of the game. You make a movie, you get. The, I'm, I'm sure that they got many good reactions. I'm sure that they got uh, you know a lot of support and admiration for the movie. Back then, they, they they were extremely happy. Now I totally understand. I mean, I mean, I'm myself. I'm making movies that are considered as polemic and controversial, and, and I get uh, very praising uh, compliments on one hand, and very harsh and critical reactions on the other hand. And when I get a re critical reaction, I'm furious. It's normal. Okay, it doesn't mean that I want to, you know, to hang the people who. who, 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 who who express his opinion, but of course I'm furious and I'm 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 offended. Okay. Now, in a way, in a way, I feel that I already answered. I mean, I mean to say that that, 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 that criticizing the movie is is what is ignoring the Holocaust. It's 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 really. I mean, I mean, does one single spectator of this of of this show think that this sentence is on any way normal or logical? What's the connection? I mean, you can, you can, 
you 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 you, you can harshly criticize you can you can you can you can say the worst thing about a movie about the holocaust about doesn't matter about uh, any tragic event while totally and absolutely respecting the the event itself the the, the i don't know how to tell this actor from kashmir from the kashmir files but your movie is not equal to the to the to the to the tragedy in Kashmir. Your movie is not equal to the Indian politics. Your movie is not equal to the Indian history. Your movie is a movie that was done, that was done based on this case. And we we must have the capacity, we must have the capacity, preserve the capacity to to deal with things in a complex way. Absolutely. Absolutely. I fully understand that. Let me put you another comment made, this time by the Israeli ambassador, a gentleman called, if I'm pronouncing his name correctly, Naor Gilon. He, in a public letter which he tweeted, has said, you should be ashamed of yourself. He says, you've denigrated Indian hospitality. He accuses you of damaging India-Israeli relations. How do you respond to the ambassador? Frankly, I, I feel so. I, I feel ashamed that this is uh, the reaction of an Israeli diplomat, uh, and, and 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 I I ask myself what this person who is already uh, an experienced ambassador, what exactly was he doing during the, the 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 democracy and freedom of speech classes? I mean, I guess that maybe he was sleeping or maybe he was thinking about something else because he totally, totally till today. He doesn't have a slight understanding of, of, of these notions. Finally, I'm, yeah. Sorry, I interrupted you. Please carry on. No, 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 no. I mean, I mean, I can, I can, I can keep on and explain it. But, 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 but in a way, in, in a way, I, I, I imagine. I don't think that that you know. I'm, I'm, I'm an an individual person. I'm an independent person. I'm not. I'm not the property. Of this ambassador and not the property of the state of Israel, exactly as as each Indian person is not the property of India. I'm not supposed to 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 if I see something, if I feel something, I'm not supposed to say the opposite in order to serve the interests of uh, of a state. It's totally a fascistic idea. Absolutely, you've also been accused by some people in India of speaking against this film. Because they claim you are pro-Palestine, that you are a critic of the Israeli government, and they say this explains your comments about the film. In other words, they are accusing you of scoring political points. I mean, I mean, I don't know even how, how to how to how to react to 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 these accusations. I mean. Am I accused of having different political opinions than, than their opinion? Yeah, I guess that we don't share the same, uh, the same, the same uh, political opinions. Uh, my, uh, as I said, I was born in Israel. I grew up in Israel. My movies are are are, are critical uh, about uh, regarding Israeli society because I have uh, a lot of disagreement with the Israeli regime. What what exactly does it? does it mean and and in a way as i said i think that when when a place is close to your heart is dear to your heart when you're intimate with a place your biggest obligation and in a way you don't have any choice but to tell your own truth this Absolutely. for me for me for me for me you know there's a similarity between telling a truth and having strong emotions Two last questions before I end, Mr. Lapid. The information and broadcasting minister was present when you spoke at the award function. Did he or any other Indian government official say anything to you about what you said about the film? No, 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 no. You know, I think, I think, that, again, I, I don't know if, I mean, but, but I think that when you listen to my, my speech itself, you can feel that you know maybe 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 it's not the most uh, common thing that it's a harsh uh, 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 critic of the movie etc. It has nothing to do with with this storm that 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 that, that, that happened afterwards. I think that all of this 
as I said, I think it's the, the, the consequence of huge manipulation of public opinion. My last question, after this experience, do you either regret speaking out and expressing what you said, or, or do you also regret accepting the invitation to be the head of the jury? You know, let's say that, you know, like, 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 uh, it's pretty unpleasant for me what's happening in the last two days, you know, I mean, I think that no one enjoys to, to, to get, as I said, the hundreds or maybe thousands, I don't know, of threatening messages. Uh, it's, it's, it's the last thing that I had in mind when I accepted this invitation, but, you know, in a way, all this madness that happened, for me, maybe it's another proof that my instinct was right, that, that I had to tell the truth. Because if, if the fact of saying what you, what, you, what, you believe, what you believe in, yeah, of course, anyone can have the, the, the opposite belief, but if the, the, the consequence of expressing your beliefs is this kind of unimaginary, unimaginable, crazy reactions, I think the conclusion is that you, we all must insist on uh, keeping and saying uh, and expressing our soul. That's very powerful. Your conclusion from this experience that you've been through, where you've received after speaking what you felt was the truth, hundreds if not thousands of threatening messages, your conclusion is that your instinct was right. I had to tell the truth. Mr. Lapin, as I see it, yeah, my, 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 I mean, as I see it, the truth is, as I see it, you know, I'm not, I'm not, I'm, of course, I'm, I'm only myself. Absolutely. I can talk only, 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 only from my own perspective. Mr. Lapin, I thank you for this interview. I thank you for speaking honestly and fully about why you believe the film lacks aesthetic and artistic merit, for clarifying that you were not questioning the veracity of the events the film depicts, but simply criticizing its lack of artistic quality, that you've apologized to those who are relatives of people who died for hurting their feelings, but, and this is the important thing, you stand by every word that you said at the award ceremony, you 100% believe the film is vulgar and propaganda, and you felt a need to say this because you were worried that there would be many in India who might feel the same but can't say it because of the pressure or the circumstances they are in. I thank you for saying all of this and for making time for me. Take care. Stay safe. Thanks a lot. Hi, I'm Karan Thapar. Over the last few years, I hope you've been watching my program, The Interview on the Wire. During that period, I've interviewed doctors, politicians, businessmen, scientists, authors, and even the occasional Nobel laureate. For me, it's been exciting. I hope it's been enjoyable for you. But these, as you know, are tough times. And if this program is going to remain bold, independent, and sometimes even defiant, then I think we need your support. At the end of the day, it's a truism, but editorial independence is best defended by the viewers. So if you would like this program to remain the way it is, forthright, outspoken, and interesting, then would you consider supporting us? All you have to do is to click on the description at the bottom. But more than anything else, I hope you will continue to watch the interview. Your viewership means an awful lot to me.